floor is definitely sloped. <sighs> Hello. The studio is still looking pretty messy. I have been working on it though. Like I taped up this thing to help me decide if this was a size of a mirror I was interested in. <laughs> Huge progress. And now, the story of a family who bought a 100-year-old home and the choices they made to make it their own, it's The Shape of Home. Future Wendy here, you can probably tell by the haircut, but the patio is done. I'm gonna show you guys what we were working with. Whew, it's a cold day. All right, crossing the bridge. Quite the pathetic fallacy type of day. Definitely before type of weather. Okay, folks, what are we dealing with here? Let's talk about a few noteworthy items. First off, this built-in planter. These are all the lovely weeds that I've been working so hard to grow. We actually want to open it up and investigate if it's in good condition. Next up, these privacy lattices. Why are some cream and some black and then back to cream? <laughs> We're gonna try to switch these up to be a bit more cohesive. As well, I'm not super crazy about this lighting system. It is very effective in illuminating our patio, but something about this style always reminds me of like late night amusement park, carnival fair type of thing. And this deck could use a little love. Ah, ah yes, over here. This is Dan's lovely arrangement of hostile architecture, I think is the term, because for some reason this corner is the corner the raccoons love to come and poop. <laughs> Sad face down owl who is not scaring anyone. For now, we've made it unappealing to poop because this does not look like a comfortable toilet area anymore to them, but obviously it cannot look like this moving forward, so <laughs> goodbye to this piece of modern art. We have this lovely metal pole that just comes straight out of the ground, full of rust, chipped paint coming out on a steep angle. I kind of want to get rid of it entirely. And up here, this pergola, torn. I think I'm okay with it. would like to change these lights, obviously. I'll pull back a little so you can get a sense of the size of this place. So, you know, the room for seating here, maybe a little dining spot here. This is the only piece thus far that we have committed to because it was a gift to us as part of moving to this home. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Good news is very motivated to get this done because patio season is a sweet season in Toronto but it is never a long enough season. On top of all that work for the patio, we would like to add some furniture. We were super excited because Article agreed to send us some furniture and they just make it so easy for a place to look beautiful and modern. Everything we've ever owned from Article was high quality, easy to care for, looked beautiful, and also designed to last. This is where I started as a non-professional designer to mock up our space for our sectional. We went with this Kezia modular sectional. It has these really sleek built-in side tables that I love. They're also perfect for plants or for entertaining. If you've never heard of Article before, they really do offer high quality furniture at a great price. Because these side tables are acacia wood, I tried to stick with that acacia theme and I chose the New Hove dining table. These no tata dining chairs for where the coffee table might go. I actually value versatility so much that instead I picked two of these Rablo side tables. Together they're kind of like a coffee table but then they're also good as end tables, also good as stools. They are definitely gonna make it indoors once it's winter time. I feel like they fit with a lot of different aesthetics so this is the plan. <laughs> I think it looks good together. I don't think Article is gonna lead me astray, so let's see how it works out. It's also got gravel, like stones on the bottom. Our neighbor came over to tell us that this looks kind of like a coffin. <laughs> Whoa! With the planks that we just removed from the side. Whoa! Daniel. <laughs> There's a part of me that is feeling quite sad because I know someone built this and they were proud of their work and so if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just, I feel bad. Anyways, back to this conversation. I hear the words you're saying. 
This is looking like an exact match with the deck planks, which is perfect. We're gonna use them to fill in that gap and hopefully blend it all in so it all looks like one big deck. Ooh, I just left to put Marla down for bed and Dan has already started on a little foundation. Plus, you moved the brick. <laughs> you stand down there, I'll throw them. <laughs> one one hundredth of the ants, you said? Oh, Dan found a ant colony. Papa, sweetie. I'm sorry, we can't let you out here. You're sad now. You'll be even sadder out here. But it's like the evil mom from Tangled. <laughs> you stay inside, okay, sweetie pie? I'm so sorry, Sakwa, but mother knows best. Hello. Today we are power washing and putting up the lattice. We'll see what we got. Power washing is so satisfying. Here you can clearly see the impact of the power wash between the left and the right. I was already one of those people who loves a good power washing video, but to witness the transformation firsthand, such a treat. And then while we waited for the deck to dry, we attached our new black privacy lattices with zip ties. Dan sold the old cream ones. So it was actually really nice that they didn't go to waste. Noticing all this leftover little bits of vine. It's crazy how much it looks like metal, but it is definitely just twigs. This is my personal doctor pimple popper moment. I need to get rid of them. Oh yes. Look how colorful this is looking already. It's no longer that sad gray tone. Great job, Dan. Yes. Just gonna add some reinforcement, a few more zip ties wherever there's a little bit too much give. Yeah, like right here, for example. Do, 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 do. Dan sailing up that planter hole. Lots of progress today. It was supposed to thunderstorm, but I think we have been mostly spared. Closing out the day of activities with... Dun dun. Scary metal cross has come down. Thank you, Dan. You don't find it scary? There's something like, maybe well, it's, it's the light. It's now that you said it. it the, um, there was like an ominous energy. Dan made me realize that this was actually part of a clothes hanger system. So now it makes sense, because I was really confused why this was on her rooftop. This pulley, this is the other part of the clothes hanger system. Progress, after our first real day working on the patio, the wood is wood color, the lattice is up, the cross is down, and we did all of this in a very, very hot, humid day. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Our article furniture arrived today. Dan could not help himself. He's already gotten started with unpacking it all. So we're gonna set that up tonight. Like I said at the beginning, article, they offer high quality furniture at a great price and it's designed to last. We've been so happy with everything we've owned from them. In case you've never shopped with them before, everything they have in stock delivers so fast. And then they have estimated times on every single product page. So you don't have to wonder how long you're gonna wait for your pieces. We got everything exactly as promised, which is so great because we really want to make the most most of patio season. They recently reintroduced inside room and assembly services to US customers and they ship almost anywhere in the USA and Canada for a flat rate of $49 or free shipping if you did an order above $999. These are all picked from some of their newest items and if you're looking to furnish any part of your home, I highly recommend checking out article to see what's new. That night I got to actually sit on my patio for the first time. I really love this sectional we got, and now that it's really coming together, feeling good about finishing this makeover. Oh, good morning. Feel so beat up from yesterday. I got a few things to unpack this morning. I'm thinking I will apply some weather protectant to all of the cushions so that they'll just be a little bit more weather resistant. Left the plastic on the cushions overnight since we didn't want any raccoons pooping on them anyways. I still have one more pair of these super pretty dining chairs to unbox. Yes, perfect fit. All right, I stopped to take a break for lunch and now it is getting a little bit less sunny, less like full on blast. Dan really wants to unroll the rug. 
So let's let's get that done. Yeah. Ew! You have raccoon poo on your shoe. Raccoon poo shoe? That's what they call me. Gross. This rug that we got, I will link it in the description as well. I followed our friend Alexandra Gator's advice to always get a slightly bigger rug than you think you need. And it was definitely a good choice. Although it was a lot more work to unroll properly. We went with the whole proper grippy rug pad underneath. And then this footage, it just does not accurately portray how long it took me to get this rug to lie properly. But I feel like this face, that sums it up pretty nicely. I think. I want to move it a foot deeper. <sighs> Gonna sit on this while it's brand new and clean. Toronto summer nights, truly one of the most comfortable temperatures on the whole earth. I feel like so many of my fond city memories happened during a Toronto summer evening. Today, my fond memory shall be migrating with these rope lights. It is in my future agenda to do string lights. But I just really don't like the idea of putting this rope light to waste, so I'm going to migrate it down to the deck level and see how I feel about that. I mean, like the brightness they give, I definitely respect that. So I just want them to look a little nicer. It's a single line art stitch, one line that has drawn out this entire pattern. So I think I'll start at the beginning right there and migrate as we go. I think we're heading in the right direction. I'm gonna keep going and find out. We're at a tricky part where the rope has to get to the other side of this pergola and <laughs> Dan, <laughs> Dan and I said, guess we'll have to skip rope it at the same time. Here we go. No. One, two, three. Going <laughs> one, two, three, swing. What are you talking about? No, one, three. <laughs> hey, what the heck? Swing. We Nobody does that. One, three. Oh, close enough. Also, the rope is so sticky. I feel disgusting. I just washed my hands. It took three passes of soap, but I think we made an improvement. It is not as bright as it used to be, but that's because we literally moved the lights so that it would be less direct on the eyes. The stairwell, oh my gosh, it's a raccoon. <gasps> We're making eye contact. Oh my gosh, please don't come up here. That's right, keep it moving. Anyways, what I was trying to say is our stairs look clean. Previously, the cord was just like wound all around this railing. Dan put our guardian owl back up for the night to deter. Ooh. Hoo hoo. Celebratory Hagen dazs Married life. Yeah. <laughs> We're so tired. Yeah, exhausted. Just Dan, me, a Hagen dazs and an owl. Thanks for watching this YouTube channel. Baby eats the apple. Yum! Yum. The apple gives baby energy to play. Wee! Hey, duck. Duck, what does the duck say? Duck. Quack, quack. All right, let's go. Today we're at Home Depot, looking for some decorative finishes to round out the patio. Always find these tiny orchids, so cute. Okay, back to business. Also same with these, always love the cacti with the redheads. Thank you. 
I welcomed all the planets to their new home, made a pact with them that I'll try my best to take care of them, even through winter. There are some leaves and twigs from the tree overhead, so I do tidy up from time to time, and oh, you know her. It's present day Wendy, and so it's time to show you the patio. Wait, no, let me flash back real quick. Here's how it was before. The dusty, crusty deck planks, our mismatched privacy lattice, the hostile architecture to keep raccoons away, our big planter with its low maintenance weed farm, as an in invasive species and not any other type of weed. And here is how she's looking now. Drive along an ocean reflecting the sun Or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love We could stay out late Until the sun sets past eight And the cotton candy haze Mirrors the warmth of your gaze Raise your glass to mine And as we drink Guys, so we could disregard the thought of ever having to part, for summer is for falling. 